Asset Information Management using Linked Data for the Life Cycle of Roads. Exchanging or sharing information about roads between stakeholders in the construction industry across the life cycle of roads is complicated and vital for national road authorities. Road asset managers, contractors and their suppliers, consultants and engineers all require information regarding the planning, design and maintenance phase. Sometimes information about roads is missing or repeated with different values. This leads to inefficiency and additional costs. Computer technology enables us to create a digital twin of the road and its data in the computer. Using linked data and semantic web technology enables computers to link the data and its meaning about the road from different sources to each other, allowing them to be fully integrated. How to create a digital twin of the road? Stakeholders in the sector provide structure to their data by breaking down the road into different components. Such components might be roads, pavements, guardrails, lampposts, or lighting. These become object types associated with specific properties in a digital object type library, or OTL. It provides the backbone of the digital twin of the road. The data required for managing the road can be structured according to an OTL. This provides an efficient exchange and sharing of information about the road between stakeholders across the life cycle of the road. The Conference of European Directors of Roads, CEDR, initiated a research program in 2015 to create test cases for an interlinked network of existing OTLs. Oxtra in Germany, CBNL and RWS OTL in the Netherlands, CoClass in Sweden, SOCI in Norway, and International IFC, based on the same IT design principles and to establish a guide to demonstrate good practice IT modeling and linking principles. Together, this is called the European Road OTL. Another advantage of the European OTL is that IT developers and road asset managers can agree on a standardized IT modeling style. This is because individual IT modeling styles are a barrier for linking possibilities. Standardized IT modeling and linking principles are a crucial part of the European Road OTL. By doing so, road asset managers can benefit from the structured data according to an OTL and its linking possibilities. Working according to these principles is beneficial because various different sources of data can gradually be linked together without harmonizing the whole world of road data at once. CEDR members have an interest in networks of OTLs and linked data semantic web technology to fulfill their operational needs. In the current data landscape, data often becomes tracked in individual software applications and individual OTLs. This is a barrier for data integration. An advantage of the new approach is that it frees the data from its individual application. Because of this, it becomes possible to integrate data from various sources, GIS, BIM, asset management systems, geographical survey, and other legacy systems. Data exchange or sharing between partners becomes more efficient, which leads to fewer failure costs and better affordability of national roads. This approach was developed and demonstrated by Interlink, a consortium of market parties and research institutes focused on this issue. Interlink delivers a roadmap for a seamless transition into an open, available, standardized, integrated European Road OTL framework. The Interlink approach enables European road asset managers to manage their roads more efficiently due to data integration, resulting in fewer mistakes for everyone, leading to more affordable roads across Europe. To find out more about Interlink, visit the website www.roadotl.eu.